court is all set to pronounce its verdict on a plea filed by former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu seeking to quash the FIR and criminal proceedings against him in the skill development scam case. Now, a special bench of Justices Aniruddha Bose and Bella M. Trivedi will pronounce the judgment in the matter today. The former Andhra Pradesh CM had filed a petition against the Andhra Pradesh High Court order of September 2023 that denied him relief. Now, Naidu had approached the top court seeking quashing of the FIR against him while challenging his arrest by the Andhra Pradesh Police's CID. He challenged the High Court judgment that rejected his plea to quash the FIR against him. However, Naidu was granted a bail in November last year. Naidu was arrested last year for allegedly misappropriating funds from the Skill Development Corporation when he was the Chief Minister in 2015, causing a purported loss of 371 crore to the state exchequer. Now, the former Andhra Chief Minister has denied the allegation. My colleague Harish joins me for the latest. Harish, good morning. As far as this being heard at the top court today, uh, what can we expect? Because we do know that there were several cases against him. Uh, one, of course, essentially being the skill development scam case. Legally speaking, what next for him? Yes, uh, actually, I guess uh, it's a deed for uh, the uh, former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister and the TDP Chief uh, Chandrababu Naidu as uh, the Supreme Court will be pronouncing the judgment on a petition. Uh, he filed uh, seeking a caution of the FIR and all uh, criminal proceedings in connection with the uh, skill development scam in which he is an accused. Uh, remember, he was accused of uh, uh, misappropriating rupees 330 crores uh, uh, while he was the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh between uh, 2014 and 19 from the uh, skilled development corporation and not funds uh, to the tune of 330, 371 uh, crores. Uh, so, uh, in fact, uh, uh, he has challenged the uh, High Court's rejection of his uh, plea. Uh, he was arrested in uh, on September 9th and remained in jail till October 31 until uh, the uh, High Court gave him interim bail, uh, which was uh, uh, a regular bail was issued on November 13th. Say, uh, High Court has said that. Uh, there is no democracy evidence against him. So, uh, uh, in fact, I do have more Supreme Court taking complete caution of the proceeding against him. Uh, the, uh, he, has, uh, he has argued to his lawyers that he is nothing but a political vendetta. Uh, YSR, CP, uh, Jagan Mohan, Reddy, that government is trying to finish off TDP and him uh, before the 2024 elections. Uh, and he uh, is using the, is refusing the state criminal investigation department. Uh, they say, and uh, they, they, they also argue that uh, the mandatory uh, mandatory uh, sanction under Section 17A of the uh, Prevention of Corruption Act was not also taken before uh, making him an accused. But the state government has argued that there is strong evidence right. against him. And uh, the uh, Section 17A uh, was inserted uh, much after he was made an accused. So uh, both such arguments were heard and Supreme Court had reserved the judgment on October 13th. Today at 1 p.m., the judgment will be pronounced. We have to wait and watch whether uh, the uh, skill development scam uh, the charges against Daido uh, will be dropped or not, whether he will be getting any relief or not. All this will be coming out uh, when the Supreme Court will pronounce the judgment at 1 p.m. today.